Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 12, 13, which isn't listed as a hard level, but I'm having a, a tough time with it. We've got 50 moves to collect nine ingredients. The ingredients are here, we have to get them down here. Now I have some sound strategies. The first one is to try to take out the frosting first to give me more space, to take out the chocolate to give me more space, then I can uh, take out this. Another piece of sound advice I have is to kind of ignore these. They're really hard to get open and to get uniformly put down here. And even if we get them down here, we get a wrapped and a striped. Uh, when we strike those together, it only takes out layers from the bottom portion. And it's not like this is one, three, and five layers thick. We need this taken out just as much as we need this taken out. And that's usually affected by stripes going this way. So we're probably not gaining much. And this may take our focus away from everything else we need to do. Now the third piece of advice, and I'm not sure, but I think that this works, I just haven't gotten close enough to confirm it, is that I probably only need to take out one column. I think I can get everything coming out of one dispenser. I don't think it has to come from three separate dispensers. So I'm going to work on that. I don't have a good setup at all. I can't even take out any frosting here. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of a leg up by trying at least to set something up in the beginning where we can make some progress. And this is okay, but it takes out a layer. It doesn't take out frosting entirely. I would have to take out some of that, uh, this stuff. So this is much better, obviously. Do I want to make the wrapped or do I want to make the striped? Well, the wrapped is going to help so much more take this out, but the stripe takes this out and takes out some of that licorice. I'm going for the stripe, plus it set up another striped or wrapped for me. I'm going to go striped again. I like the striped on this board. So now the chocolate has the opportunity to grow, and I'm not going to spend too much time battling it, except I do like to have a relatively clear board to get my work done. Um, but the more I can take out, the easier uh, time I'll have. So if I can remove it, I will. I just don't strain at doing it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take out another layer. So see, I've got three layers gone already. And because I waited for a pretty good setup, I'm actually having a relatively good board here. Now what I need to do is I need to try to focus on making some more stripes here. But I don't have the opportunity to do it because I've got so many different colors. So I'm going to try to concentrate things down. Unfortunately on a board like this a lot of it is luck based. I can do this or I can do this. So I'm going to do this and kind of clear this area out and see if that'll allow me then either to get some reshuffles or to make some differences over here. This is what I'm looking for. So now we have another stripe. Here I could make a stripe but it's going the wrong direction. So a wrapped candy is much better and I get to put these together. And I love that. Now I've got that last chocolate I need to deal with unless it gets taken out. This is thinner than this now. So if I could move this over, I would. I just don't see that opportunity happening. So let's just strike this. We're giving ourselves shots all across the board and seeing which one's going to work out. Here I can make a wrong going stripe but I might be able to set it up with another wrong going stripe and two wrong goings equals a right in Candy Crush. I'd like to move this over if I can. Ah, there we go. Okay, this is looking excellent for me. And now I have to see how those ingredients flow through. That's it. That's all I needed to do to focus on one column. Ignore these guys because they weren't likely to be helpful anyway and just keep making stripes. So even though my first couple of attempts weren't very successful with the board I was given and, and how things were lining up, eventually sticking with that strategy proved successful. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.